I'm Mark Anthony, author of The Afterlife Frequency. But don't expect a dry treatise. This book educates, entertains, and reads like a juicy novel. Joining us today is psychic lawyer Mark Anthony. Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you. I don't think there's another person on the planet anywhere who shares this guy's resume. He's been on Coast to Coast, the radio show with me for years, and folks who call in just love him. He's a psychic lawyer, but he's the real deal. I travel to paranormal, mystical, and sacred sites around the world. It's overwhelming how powerful this place is. The Afterlife Frequency, scientific proof of spiritual contact and how that awareness will change your life is a riveting adventure that takes you around the globe and from the cosmic to the subatomic, even into the human soul itself. I refer to our soul as the electromagnetic soul, because that's a 21st century term to describe who and what we really are, sure. which is pure consciousness that is eternal electromagnetic energy. When we die, we leave our physical bodies. Yes. But what happens when we die, in your opinion? Energetically, what happens is the electromagnetic soul, the who and what we are enshrined in our body, transfers from a quantum leaps from the material world to the other side. Think of your soul as a drop of water. So when you die, that drop of water leaves your brain and plunges into the eternal sea of souls. This book also provides hope in coping with grief, crime, murder, PTSD, and survivor's guilt. Part of being human involves contact with spirits whether it's through a medium, during a dream, a deathbed vision, or a near-death experience. All these types of interdimensional communication occur when the energy of the human soul aligns with the afterlife frequency. The afterlife frequency teaches you my four-step raft technique. Recognize spirit contact, accept it as real, feel it without fear, and trust the message. What a spirit does is they emit this energetic impulse and within that are intelligent concepts. So the spirit's electromagnetic field interfaces with the electromagnetic field of my brain and then that information gets converted into recognizable concepts based on my memories, feelings, and cultural associations. Over a century ago, Albert Einstein, Max Planck, and Werner Heisenberg discovered that everything is made of the same energy, a subatomic particle of electromagnetic force known as quantum. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, only transferred from one form to another. We are all energetic beings. Hence, the energy of life transcends physical death.